This is a front panel of a software emulated IMSA 8080. Unfortunately, I don't have a real one. They are very expensive and quite rare to get because they were only built between 1975 until 78. I put the description of the simulator in the comments. Um, you could call this probably the first clone of a microcomputer. It was based on the Alter 8800. The Alter looked like this. In my opinion, there are few improvements, like the eight programmed output LEDs here and um, different labeling, hexadecimal and octal values. On the altar you have only uh, octal values printed. Um, I find that bigger colored switches make it easier uh, to enter hex code. This computer was based on the Intel 8080, which was later on replaced by an 8085 CPU. Now I will give a fast overview of, uh, yeah, let's say, main menu. Here you have the 16-bit address bus of the 8080 with his 8-bit data bus. Um, these LEDs shows what the CPU is actually doing, like um, memory read, write, machine cycle, interrupt, and so on. And in your program, you can use the upper eight LEDs here. Um, these 16 switches are used to specify the address. And with the ATA, you enter the data. And in the running program, you use those ones to enter data. Well, as you can see, there's really no need to have a keyboard, screen, or mouse. <laughs> um, of course, you could connect terminals, modems, displays, keyboards, printers, floppy disks, and so on, or, um, with the right interface cards. You can run CPM on it and use it like a normal workstation. And right here you you have some programming and control switches, read memory, write memory, reset, run, stop, single step, and the power button, of course. Over the I.O. port 255 you can access the programmed output. This is done by using the command out. Let's uh, write it down out and destination address 255. With this command, the, the content of the accumulator is transferred to the I.O. address. So we have to specify value in the accumulator. Let's say give it 1. And then you transfer to, to the destination 255. And the hexadecimal code for MVI is 3E in hexadecimal. Specify the value. And the out command is the D3. And 255 is FF in hexadecimal. So you have we have to enter 3E, 0 run, and D3, FF. Let's do it. Okay, let's start with programming. Let's turn it on. And we could stop with the button stop running the program. Which in the, well, in this case, there's no running program. We hit reset just to do a reset on the address bus. So we are pointing really to address uh, zero. Let's enter the first command, which is 3e, 1 and 2 is 3, e hexadecimal is 14, and deposit it in memory. Deposit. 
So on the address 0, we have the command or the value 2 and 1 is 3, 8 and 4 is 12, and 2 is 14, which corresponds to 3e. That's the command for the NVI A. And on the next address, we have to specify, specify the value of, of the accumulator. It's a two-byte command. Okay, well, let's put one in the accumulator and deposit on the next address. Deposit next. So one is in the address one. The next command is the out command, which is D3. D is 13, 8 and 4 is 12, and 1 is 13. And 3, 2 and 1 is 3. Deposit next. So on the address 2, we have 8 and 4, 12, and 1, 13, 2 and 1 is 3. Then we have to specify um, the destination, which is FF. This one is easy. Every switch up. Um, deposit next. Okay, we have finished our first program. Let's do a test. We hit just reset to go back to address 0. We're doing a single step. So with the first command, he has charged um, the value 1 into the register A. And with the next step, he should output the value of A to the programmed output. OK, what has happened here? He has turned off the first or yeah the first on the right LED which corresponds to one a uh, one actually turns off the LED and the zero um, turns it on so let's give it a try and change um, the value of the A register let's go back to zero Here's the command 3e. We're going to the next address. We have the value 1 and we'll change it to with 254. Let's do the test. Yeah, all up and on this one down. Deposit. We're doing reset and running the program again. Charging the accumulator and the next step is output. And as you can see, now the value is 1. OK, let's enhance the program. We are going to use uh, the input switches to specify the value in the output. OK, let's go. A load accumulator, we don't need it anymore. And we will replace it with the command in, which will uh, read uh, the switches, the input switches, and put the value in the accumulator. And the value of the input switches is also the I.O. address 255. The command for in is db. The port is ff. And let me put a placeholder here. No operation the command. No operation with the code 00, zero will do nothing. Just go on with the next comment. Okay, let me put this in. Let's go back to the address 00, zero with the reset. And we will enter the command db. D is 13, 8 and 4, 12, and 1, 13. B is 11, 8 and 2, and 1 is 11. Deposit. Let's check it. 8, 4, 12, 1, 13. 8 and 2 is 10, 1, 11. Okay, that's fine. And FF for the value. Deposit next. Fine too. We're doing no operation. Everything will do. Deposit next. And we're doing the out. D is 13. And 3. 
one draw, deposit next. Okay, and the value FF. For the output. Deposit next. Okay, we will add a jump to it. Let's go back to the program. And we'll add a command jump to the 16 bit address 0000. zero, zero. The command for jump is C3. And we specify the zeros. It's a 16 bit address, so the command is 3, bit, three bytes long. Let's put in jump. C is 12. 3. Deposit next. And for 12. Okay, it's fine. And two zeros. Deposit next. Deposit next. Let's have a check. Reset. And we're doing the run. Lights are turned on. If I turn on the switch, we'll turn off the light. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the program. And I will replace no operation with a complement accumulator. This command will replace every zero with a one and one with a zero. The code is 2F and it's situated on 0, 1, 2, on the address 2. Let's stop the program, going back to 0, accessing the second address, which is 0, 0. And replacing uh, replacing it with two F, two and F. Deposit. Let's run the program again. Reset. Run. Now the output is correct. So the program is actually doing reading the input switching, putting it in the accumulator doing a complement on the accumulator, outputting it and jumping back to zero. Thank you for watching and those who are still interested can continue the video, I will uh, show a small demo. Bye-bye.